All right, um, continuing with our eBay um, application test, uh, uh, today we're going to be talking about um, something called an uh, object spy. Um, how we could put object spy to use, what it is, and uh, how it can be beneficial for us to use uh, an object spy to find out the um, properties of an object. All right, uh, to get started, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be running that script which we had uh, uh, created earlier uh, by recording, and then uh, Let's see what it does. Uh, it opens um, um, to eBay site. It goes and then it puts uh, whatever it is supposed to put in there, uh, which is the Yankees tickets. And then uh, um, it is, uh, I just want to make sure that the script is running. And this is basically what we are interested in, this 4,174. I need to find out uh, some more information about that particular object or or what is that uh, that it is showing 4,174, uh, like in what is the object where it is showing that. So um, in order for me to work on that, I, I will not close my browser in my script anymore. Um, so that way that will give me a little idea of what's happening in there so that I could sit on that browser and then, you know, try and figure out what it is doing. And also, uh, we will try not to put in like a wait of like 10 seconds because that's um, basically taking our time in here. Um, so I'm going to reduce that in my, in my next uh, run. Um, all right, here we are, uh, that uh, 4174. All right, uh, you see that uh, the, the result here is uh, 4,174 for the search which we have made uh, on the Yankee tickets. Let's say if this is a different search, if it is a Met search or, or if it is any other uh, search, uh, then uh, we expect to find different results here. All right, now the question is, uh, what if, if I want to capture this result and then do something with that result? How do I capture that result? In order for me to capture that result, I just have to um, find out like uh, where in this application that that number is being shown. Uh, like when you want to put something, uh, you put it into a web edit box. When you want to click on something, you click on a web button box. So while it is showing you some results, uh, where is it showing you those results? Like what kind of object it is? So if you want to find out um, uh, the details of an object, uh, uh, there's something called uh, an object spy in QTP which we could be using. Uh, so Let's invoke uh, my object spy. So where do you find the object spy? Uh, it's right here. Uh, the guy who's sitting um, here with, with uh, wearing that uh, little hat. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna invoke uh, that object spy, and then once I do that, uh, uh, it's it's gonna bring up this window, and in this window it is telling me that uh, use the pointing hand button to select the object whose properties or methods you want to view. Okay. Now in the bottom here, as you can see, properties and values. This is where the properties. Uh, uh, and the values of, of, of the object which I select is gonna is gonna show up. All right. So let me click that. That will make QTP go away, right? As it did. And I could go in and then I could click on the object. Now notice that uh, I, I am the the object is 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 behind behind the object spy itself. So I, I I cannot go and then tap into the object. Now if I go someplace else, it's going me it's showing me the details of that object and all that. But I'm interested in that. Uh, I think so. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just come back, uh, and I will, I will move myself in here, right? Um, so that uh, we don't uh, uh, block that uh, view. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Okay, this time I am, I'm here. Okay, this is the object which I'm interested in. So I could, I could click on that. I could click on that, and then basically when I click on that, it tells me that it is a web element. It's a web element, right? As you can see here, the class name is it's a web element, and then it gives me so many other properties of that. Uh, if if I'm dealing with a human, I know that the height of a human, so height is a property, and the value is whatever it is, six foot, uh, five foot, ten inches, six foot, four inches, whatever is is the value, but the property is height. So likewise for this object, uh, there are a bunch of properties for this object, right? So um, the 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 one which is showing me the result, this four one seven four and all that. So whatever it is showing me the results, those are the properties we should be interested in. So there's something called inner HTML. There's there's something called inner text, and there's something called outer text. Uh, uh, well, um, you will know some more details about these properties if you if you uh, get into HTML. Um, in one of my videos, I'm going to be walking you through and then talking to you as a well, you know, what is HTML? What are the different objects which you could put in and, uh, through the HTML? And what are the properties which you, which uh, a developer or an HTML designer or a web page designer uh, will be using for an object? Uh, um, but that's a topic for another day. For now, we are dealing with this object. So we got the object. The object is a web element that I know. 
and uh, if I'm interested in some of the properties of the object, some of the properties would be inner text or inner HTML, outer HTML, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so uh, that uh, that was your object spy trying to give uh, help you to find out the properties of any object. Say, for instance, if I want to find out the property of, uh, let's say, um, this this object, right? We don't know what this object is, right? It's a it's a it's it looks like it's a drop down. Uh, if I want to find out like what is this object, how would I do that? I'm just gonna come in here to my object spy, click on that button, and I say that okay, give me the details of this object. And now notice that uh, if I move away, it's gonna go and then talk about a different object. If I wanna if I wanna find it about let's say if I wanna find about this object, so I'm just gonna click on that object, and this tells me that it's the web list. It's a web list object right here. It's a web list object, right? So if you want to find out about any particular object and the properties of that object, you make use of what is called the object spy. One more try. I'm going to go and then find out about, uh, let's say, this my eBay. What is that, right? It looks like a uh, link, right? Let's see. Um, I do that. I do that. I come in here and I click on that uh, my, my eBay. When I click on that, it gives me here, it's a link. Right, it's linked. Now you might be wondering, like, uh, uh, for everything else, it is like a web button, web uh, uh, edit, uh, web list. Uh, why does not web link? The reason it's not web link is because there's nothing like a link uh, in a Windows application. Um, to distinguish your your objects from uh, the Windows application to web application, what they have done is uh, they appended the word web or win in front of these objects. So if you're dealing with a Windows application, you would find like a win edit, uh, a win button, right? Uh, there's no need for a win link because there's nothing like a link uh, object at all. There's the only unique object link and that you could find only in case of a web applications. Anyway, so that was a very short demo about uh, Object Spy, what it can do. We'll be using Object Spy a lot in our uh, future classes. Uh, as we go along, you will find me using Object Spy a lot because we, we will be using um, uh, so many objects and we would like to find out the properties of those objects and the way we could find out the properties of any object is through the use of the object spy So we have to be using object spy. Alrighty. Uh, uh, thank you for um, attending this uh, little uh, uh, Video here on object spy and uh, we'll come back again with a later video. Thank you